Good morning, brothers and sisters in Yeshua. I bless you all in his holy, holy, holy name. Um, very quickly, because I got to go to work, um, I had a dream last night that I was in Puerto Rico at my grandmother's house in the town of Vega Baja. And I don't know what I was there, why I was there, I'm sorry, why I was there because my grandmother passed away like nine or ten years ago. But anyways, I was there. And the president, Barack Obama, was there. And he was just like, you know, like a normal normal person, just there. I don't know what he was doing there and me over there. But anyway, um, I dreamt that I confronted him and I was looking at him and I said, I know who you are. And he just acted like he didn't care what I was saying. <laughs> and then I said, you are the Antichrist. You are the son of perdition. And when I said that, he, you know, he turned his head and he looked at me. And I continued saying, um, you are deceived. You are going to be destroyed by Yeshua himself. He will destroy you with the word of his mouth. And I kept on, you know, uh, quoting the Bible on him. And he started to get angry and mad until he his face transformed and he was like roaring like a lion and he he tried to get me. He tried to get to me. But every time he would try to get me, somehow I would start floating and he he couldn't get to me. He he was trying to jump and get <laughs> my feet, but he couldn't. Um and that was my dream. I can't remember if there was much about the dream. You know, about Obama in the dream, I, I can't remember. That's all I can recall. And I wanted to share with you guys before I would go to work and I would forget as the day went by. Um, kind of like, uh, that's a very kind of interesting dream because I've heard people saying, um, you know, like with kind of proof from the scriptures that Barack Obama is the Antichrist, um, saying that his name in Aramaic or Hebrew means lightning or cast out of heaven and it makes sense but i always have my reservations and my doubts as to whether he's the antichrist and the reason is because the antichrist is supposed to be loved by the whole world and yes a lot of people like barack obama and support him and defend him but there's also many people that don't like him. So for him to be the Antichrist, you know, the Antichrist, the Antichrist is supposed to be a charming man, a man liked by many. So, you know, he can deceive the whole world into believing in him, putting their trust in him and, pl uh, and pledging their allegiance to him. So, I don't know if, if he is, if he's not, if he is, well, maybe then something has to happen for the whole world to believe in him and like him, because not everybody likes him. Um, and to tell you the truth, I really don't care if he's the Antichrist or who is the Antichrist. Hopefully, by then, when the Antichrist comes to power and takes over the world, believers in Yeshua are not going to be here. We're not going to be here. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And let's just keep praying for one another. I love you all. Bye.